October, offering one or two day workshops led by owner and head distiller Mark Lambert. Bourbon has over the last four or five years become extremely popular. So it's made, and bourbon must be made in the United States. You can't make bourbon outside of the US. Uh, it has to be 51 or more percent corn. It has to be aged in new charred oak barrels. Um, it has to be distilled at 160 proof or less. It has to be barreled at no more than 125 proof. And then it has to be bottled at no less than 80 proof. So if you meet those requirements, you are bourbon. Through a mixture of lecture and hands-on work, Lambert breaks down the process of distilling, beginning with safety and history, and then interweaving the science of the craft into his workshop. So as you see, the first stuff that's gonna start boiling off is acetone at 134 degrees. Uh, methanol is 147, ethyl acetate, which is a very small component of it, 171. We mash, ferment, distill, filter, and age. So there's a number of steps that we go through in order to get our bourbon. Participants climb onto a scaffold to pour milled corn into a tank of water that is then heated and agitated at the outset of the process. After malt extract is added, the mixture continues to circulate in the tank while Lambert pulls samples of aging bourbon for participants to sample. Dragon's Still, which was custom built to Lambert's specifications, was assembled on site and is so tall it barely fits in the space. Since the entire process takes too long to contain in one class, participants are given a miniature oak barrel at the conclusion of the workshop, which is then filled with several bottles of Dragon's unaged corn whiskey. Participants then take the barrel home and allow the spirit to age for about seven weeks before emptying the bourbon into bottles.